Hey there YouTube viewer, Lord Spody here. Now YouTube viewer, the human body has 100 billion neurons and 37 trillion cells, which is a bit too complicated for scientists to recreate artificially. So these scientists have started with something smaller, the C. elegans worm, which has just 300 neurons and 1,000 cells. It's a simple creature, but still shares 80% of the genes of a human body. It has a brain, a stomach, has simple bodily functions, and has behaviors such as looking for mates and avoiding predators. The worm is about 0.04 inches long and feeds on bacteria, and it is the world's first creature to have its genome entirely mapped. So this is a much smaller, easier creature for scientists to start with. Now scientists at Open Worm have fully digitized the brain of the C. elegans, and soon you'll be able to download it onto your computer. Well, so you can fiddle around with it. They have also put this digitized worm's brain into a Lego robot. And the results are pretty fascinating. The robot kind of acts like an earthworm would in a box. You know, it's bumping in the walls, kind of just moving around. When you see this video, that's not someone at the controls. That is this digitized worm's brain maneuvering this little robot kind of erratically, but kind of what you would expect a worm to do if you put it in some little square box. So what does this mean, YouTube viewer? Robot engineers are already creating clones of humans. Is it only a matter of time that when we get old, we'll just take our brain and digitize it and put it in a new robot body? Do you think that's what the future holds? And, and does that scare you a little bit, or do you think that will be cool? Personally, I think that'll be pretty damn cool. Well, anyway, tell me what you think. Comment below. We'll discuss. All right, Lord Spoda out.